In our previous vlog, we have seen the introduction to the clerk tool and we have also created our account and also we got the publishable key. So here now we are we are already signed in and so it is showing us like a sign out and dashboard option. So we can get inside and try to get our publishable key here. So under API keys, you are having your publishable key. So let us copy it and in Android Studio now let us try to add the clerk dependency first so if you go through the YAML file currently we don't have the clerk dependency so now let's try to add it flutter pub add clerk underscore flutter so this is how we can easily add there any dependency we can add any dependency to our flutter project and you need not worry about the version it will all it will automatically pick up the available latest version so here we we have got the basic code i'm going to remove completely everything and let's try to import material dot dot and later let us also try to import clerk underscore flutter dot 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 and the first thing we always do is with void main so this is the beginning of the programming now let us try to specify run app and here in run app we need to specify clerk authorization so this is the root level widget we are considering here so make sure you specify it over here and we need to configure our clerk dependency first so clerk authorization configuration okay so here is the publishable key we need to specify which we have copied from our console so here we need to specify the child which is nothing but my app which we are now going to create and now let us try to create a stateless widget that is my app so so far so clear right we have got the publishable key and we are trying to configure it to our clerk authorization okay and here instead of uh, returning again this is a basic code which we always which we always do for all the flutter applications so we are returning a material app and quickly we can specify title and also here in this video i have explained you how you can create a template so you can create a template and that can be handy to avoid all this boilerplate code so here we we are specifying a home page widget now okay so going forward we need to create this particular home page widget which will be again a stateless widget so just to make sure the code is clean i am going to create a separate class like home page and if you are okay you can just create it within the uh, main dot art file itself that is within the my app class itself you can completely write the code okay and here we are now going to declare home page dot dot here and quickly we are going to import material dot dot and again a stateless widget home page okay oh we have not imported material dot dot it's main dot dot okay and now we have got this particular class now so let us return a scaffold here so we are going to return a scaffold which will be having an app bar and in this particular screen we are going to specify clerk authorization so first make sure this is a constant because we are not going to change the text so it will make your code run much faster when you make use of constants here so clerk or demo we can specify and the next thing going to be body here body section we need to declare and the body we are going to consider center widget and using center widget 
we are going to provide a button and again that can be any kind of button i'm just specifying elevated button for now and we have got this on pressed here so just make sure it like a default for now and uh, let us try to specify the child thing again so again i'm considering this like a constant only so text we are going to specify and the text could be login or uh, sign in sign up we can say that would be much better sign in sign up okay okay this would make much sense okay so here we got the child now let's try to rearrange the code and now come to the on press functionality so here what we are going to do is like we are going to make use of navigator dot off provide the context here and push so we are going to make use of a basic and dot push we are going to specify we are going to specify material page row here and this is all the default things which we almost do when we try to navigate okay so providing context here and now we are going to specify a separate screen which will be clerk authorization authentication screen so here i am going to specify the class name like this clerk auth screen here and let us proceed and create that particular screen as well clerk auth screen dot dart okay so here we have got it quickly import material dot dart and again we are going to consider stateless widget clerk authorization screen authentication screen sorry so here we'll be returning a scaffold and inside the scaffold again we'll be having app bar so there's a lot of boilerplate code coming to us so just make sure you handle this appropriately by creating a templates and if you are a beginner i suggest to write this code every time so that you will be having a very good knowledge like what you are doing line by line okay just for understanding purpose i am saying later you can create templates and make this work smoother make this work easier but uh, in the beginning i would suggest just try to write the code multiple times it will you will understand clearly what is happening here and later once you become comfortable right you can create templates and i'll be providing the template tutorial also in the description section below so clerk so in the child we specify clerk authentication so this is the thing which we get from our dependency so the major thing starts from here so when we call this particular clerk authentication right then our login or sign up process what i say is like the clerk will start its process from this particular uh, method here and now when we see the hierarchy here we have got okay clerk or screen we need to import it then i think everything issue is resolved okay one semicolon and now let us try to do the same over here home page we need to import and that's it now we are sorted out with all the errors and just try to reorder and here we have got these imports now clerk material dot and home page dot dot everything is now i think in a good flow and uh, let us try to run the code so i'll be running this on android emulator for now later if we sort out the app store issue we can also try the ios uh, thing as well and our emulator is now ready so now our application is about to get on our emulator here and we are getting few issues but for now we can ignore them 
so warning coco pods version so currently we are running on android so for now we can ignore those things and regarding the android things i have already fixed i have updated my android sdk from 34 to 35 and you can find the uh, changes here okay okay oh this was uh, opening in mac os desktop version that is well and good now let us try to run on our emulator as well so let us try to see how good it works on the emulator wow it is working welcome back please sign in to continue it is saying but we are missing the options like we configure red facebook all those things we are missing them on the desktop version let us try to see on emulator how this thing works yeah because we have only integrated android app over there we we have not uh, done any integration for the desktop i would think that might be the reason and let us try to see an android device then we'll get a good clarity because we have configured our android app if you remember in our previous tutorial in the native application section we have configured our android application so here under native applications we have configured our android application already and here you can see i think that is the reason why on desktop version we are not getting the appropriate output but i am sure on android device we'll get the output and also i have updated the ndk version as well so here you can see i have updated the sdk and even the ndk versions over here that is what we can see here and uh, that's it the remaining uh, target sdk minimum sdk those are again default things and also under the gradle here you can find i have updated it to 8.9 so if you are just facing the issue try upgrading these things so here we can see our ndk is also getting installed i have shown right i have changed the ndk version so that is also completed and now it is installing our application you might be facing these issues if not well and good if you are facing any issues just let me know and yes as we expected we have configured our android application right so we have got these things working facebook github and google and we have got the page loaded for now and i suggest you to just play around this thing just try to sign up sign in and in next tutorial we'll try to cover these things so this particular tutorial we have covered the coding and also we make use of the publishable key and integrated our uh, clerk sdk and it's working perfect so i hope this is clear for you and the code for this particular tutorial i will be providing in the description section below if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on flutter